Hi everyone, how are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to show you amazing photos that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by displaying these photos. But that's the whole point. These photos are proof of the small occult elite of Erased and make the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, before I start, don't forget to subscribe to my backup channel. Please check the link in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Edison promoting electric car, 1,000 mile run, with his new at that time battery, 1910. New York. More than 110 years ago, we had electric cars that had 1,000 miles run batteries on a single charge, which is at least two to three times better than today's best electric car battery. Back in the day, they didn't use lithium batteries, instead they used sodium ion batteries, which were much more powerful, safer, and cleaner, for production and environment. Sculpture of an angel on a tomb is a burial monument of the Calcagno family at the Stagliano Cemetery, Italy, 1904. You can see how the dress folds falling down the stairs. Amazing craftsmanship. Old ancient either atmospheric electric tech in Thailand. The ceremony headdress is designed as an either collector, as are the temple rooftops as shown. Old tech is deactivated, but still present on the temples. Wonder if these people know what they are worshipping. These temples are vast and many, all with the same either collector designs. Notice the similarities between those two women. Same earpieces and same necklaces. On the left, from Spain, the Lady of Elch. On the right, found in Utah, but plainly from Egypt with cuneiform engravings. Ancient ceremonial chariot unearthed in Pompeii. Excavators found the bronze and tin chariot almost entirely intact, with wooden remains and the imprint of ropes, according to an announcement from the archaeological park of Pompeii. The carriage is decorated with sheets of bronze and red, and black wooden panels. At the back, there are various stories engraved onto bronze and tin medallions. Excavators first discovered part of the artifact emerged from the volcanic material on January 7. Weeks later, the entire chariot was revealed, miraculously intact despite the collapse of parts of the room that housed it. This type of chariot has never been found in Italy before, instead resembling finds from Thrace, in northern Greece, said the park officials. What is Pompeii? A UNESCO World Heritage Site. They own most ancient places on this world. The village of Asuka, Japan, holds an ancient megalithic secret. The rock ship of Masuda. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. This is from NightWatchParanormal.com, by Andy Haggerty, about Viking sunstones. Olaf I. Tryggvason was a bold leader of Vikings. He lived from approximately 960 to 1000 AD, becoming king of Norway in 995. He unified much of Norway and Denmark, and also brought Christianity to the nation. He had in his possession a magical device, a sunstone, which aided him in his endeavors, according to the sagas of St. Olaf. He like so many Vikings that came after him were able to traverse thousands of miles of open ocean, in a way that modern science was not able to completely understand. 
The evidence of their achievements is overwhelming, however the methods they used were shrouded in mystery. Sun compasses, shadow boards, currents and dead reckoning were all thought to be possibilities. There was a more fantastical option as well, the magical Viking sunstone. Many have thought the myth of the sunstone was just another legend. It was a magical device that allowed the possessor to know the location of the sun, no matter how cloudy the sky was. The stone could also tell where the sun was during the twilight periods after the sun had officially set. In conjunction with a shadow board, you could tell which way was north. The sunstone would be a truly powerful device in a time before magnetic compasses were invented. Doubly valuable to a nation of seafaring warriors sailing vast distances in the often cloud-covered North Sea. Modern science dismissed such as mere legends, of course. Right up until they discovered one in a shipwreck. The ship was the Alderney, an Elizabethan warship that sank in 1592. Although she sailed well beyond the times of the Vikings, she did sail in the time before all the vagrancies of magnetic navigation were figured out. The sunstone was found with the navigation equipment and is believed to have been used to correct or back up the magnetic navigation devices. Although the sands and chemical reactions had clouded the sunstone, they were able to determine that it was a piece of Icelandic spar. One of the optical properties of Icelandic spar is it actually doubles the objects passing through it. If you place a dot on the one side of the stone, you will see two dots on the other side. The human eye has a fine-tuned ability to distinguish between shades of contrast. This allows the bearer to rotate the Icelandic spar until the two points have the same intensity of light or darkness. When that is achieved, the upwards-facing surface indicates the direction and angle of the sun. This allows a precision within a few degrees, even under dark twilight conditions. When used in conjunction with a shadow board, you are able to tell the compass direction, and some hypothesize latitude as well. Such a shadow board was partially found in Greenland in 1948. This magical effect was put to the test by various scientific bodies, researchers and even TV shows. Much to everyone's surprise the sunstone actually work. Those scholars who dismissed the existence or possibility of sunstones were proven wrong. Of course, they had to come up with a term called, depolarizing, to describe the magic. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This everything inside me channel, see you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy.